Is it out there? Oh. Uh, Stephen Turner. Stephen Turner. Stephen Turner. Just want to put your bag in there and just dump everything out. What's going on, Turner Fishing? Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate y'all watching. So, as everybody knows, Big Bass Tour. Extremely fun tournament. I mean, for any skill level, it's 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 one of them tournaments where you can possibly win a lot of money, you can win a little money, or you can win no money. Or you can win something that can be life changing. Now for me, catching a big one would be life changing. Everybody knows we got the old sixteen footer. And doing this as a career. You know, it's, it slows me down a little bit, but I'm still out there. I'm hanging with all the hammers. I'm hanging with everybody. And most of the time I fish with my brother and his ranger anyway, so... Which I'm probably going to do in this tournament. <clears throat> but... Big Bass Tour. Lake Murray. So here's my predictions before everything even gets started. I believe around three pounds is going to cut you a check. Three pounds, Steven. Lake Murray average is four pounds most of the time. Correct but we got a lot of cold weather coming through and honestly getting anything like a, a bigger quality fish like an eight nine pounder i just don't see it happening right now with this cold front coming in i'm thinking either a six and a half or seven pound is going to win a brand new nitro now am i on six and a half to seven pound fish no i haven't been fishing in two weeks for bass i went crappy fishing last saturday didn't film a video ended up catching a limit but it was one of them fishing trips you just getting out the house just to you know i took my old lady we had a good time ended up well i went bass fishing but ended up didn't catch any so but uh, oh and another thing before this video starts either the first or second week in november because i'm getting married on the on halloween if you didn't know you're married on halloween i got some other stuff the week before that to take care of but i want to say either the first weekend or second weekend in november if the weather is going to be stable i'm going to have to look it up but i'm going to put on the second annual turn fishing tournament so let me know down in the comments below if you're ready for that I'm going to be going out of big man's probably uh the ramp fee is five dollars so probably do like a 50 a 50 dollar tournament five dollar big fish forty dollar in the pot uh five dollars to big man's and i'll probably pay back 90 90 percent just so you know give give a little bit of money to the channel just 10 percent of whatever we get if that makes sense to everybody if everybody's cool with it if not i'll go to 100 percent. but <clears throat> anyways day one big bass tour hopefully we can stick a big one hopefully i don't know we ain't on nothing we got a couple tips from one of my buddies so we're gonna go through with that and see if we can't win some money. No. Unless the weight's really low. <laughs> Down, buddy. Well, number one, I don't think he's gonna do much, but we'll put him in there just in case. Number two, definitely ain't what we're looking for. <laughs> well, we got some deer over there. I don't know if y'all can see them. There's like three of them over there. Don't go hunting with CD. <laughs> that one hit it right out of the boat, too, didn't it? <coughs> this right here definitely ain't what we're looking for. You can get off of there. Three 
fish on a lipless? Not exactly the right size, but it's a start. Number four, <laughs> two keepers, but nothing big yet. Uh, we're gonna put them in a live well. You never know what the weights are gonna do. We ain't gonna know that till about 8.30. They gonna be high. We let them go. Yeah, another one. <laughs> We're fishing a regular tournament. We'd be doing all right. I'd be happy. <laughs> I don't think he'll keep anyway. We putting them in the boat. We just gotta get a bigger bite. <laughs> Catching giants, guys. Troubles he got in it. Is he up good? Oh. No, you got about one or two good things. Oh, he's coming up, he's coming up. Oh, yeah. Yes. Look, look, look. One. Oh, you got. Yeah, one hook. Oh, get the scale. Are you gonna be a money fish? I hope so. It's gotta be at least three and a half. Am I recording? Yeah. Three and a half. Right at four. Yes, sir. See what time it is. We'll fish this stretch and then go way in here. Yeah. I didn't think it was that B. I'm serious, I did. He looked big. Okay, he looked big. <laughs> Steven Turner. Steven Turner. Steven Turner. Just want to put your bag in there and just dump everything out. Good one? Yeah, he's all right. He might get a chip. Oh, well, okay, so. Official time is 121. This is hour six. Solid. Did you catch him? Popper? Yeah. <laughs> Popper. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, we, I, we probably caught 15 fish all day, two pounds. All right. Just now catching? Uh, but, but I didn't want to weigh in last time. Cause I didn't know my my scale said three nine. I was like, that ain't three nine. <laughs> so. All right. Thank y'all. All right, brother. Be careful. Yep. Hopefully. <laughs> Yep, those weren't big enough. <laughs> Still good enough. As, as you've seen, we did end up cutting a check. At the time I was filming, I thought sixth place was 400. I don't know why. There was one tournament I believe I fished that it was every every place was like 100 down. So one would be a thousand, two would be 900, etc. But 200 dollars definitely made my money back. So I, I made probably like 40 bucks. So not bad, not bad. We did end up catching that one. Now let's talk about the pattern. Like I'm gonna put y'all down for a second. Get right here with you. So, my buddy said they were biting in Crystal Lake. Shout out to my buddy. You know who you are. All right. We get to Crystal Lake. We, we got this one stretch that I've made two or three videos on. So, we get to this stretch. We get on this point. And it turns 7 o'clock. I start with a lipless. Ended up catching, I think, four first 10 minutes. As you guys saw caught three bass one was one was two pounds we ended up keeping him just in case the weights were really really low and the, the bad part if we would have if we would have weighed in that two pounder on the first hour i think we would have got 10th place not 100 percent on that but i believe we would have got 10th place but the pattern we found was a buzz bait or any just a top water in general down these these banks that still had a little bit of grass in the water because they i mean the, the lake was drawn down a little bit and they're still going to draw it down a little bit more but the banks that still had a little bit of grass were key i don't think i mean i think we caught we, we caught so many fish uh day one um i'm actually filming this after day two so but on the first day that we i mean we probably caught 20 bass and every one of them except the one i weighed in were two pounds and under so they were definitely biting it just i don't know where these other people were catching to the the five and six pounders my guess is either like deep brush piles not not really deep but like 10 foot brush piles or maybe cane piles or something and they just got lucky because on the leaderboards, there's really nobody, maybe one or two people that weighed in twice and actually cashed a check. So, honestly, it's just random. It was just random. So, now we're at this point in the video. Let's talk about day two. So, day two, we're going to wait for this car to pass right here. All right, day two, Big Bass Tour, Lake Murray. We decided to change it up. And I think that's where we went wrong. Me and my brother decided, hey, we were in Crystal Lake catching two pounders. Okay. So we opted to go to Buffalo Creek. You know, I've caught a lot of big fish in the past in Buffalo Creek. I mean, I've, I've had tremendous days in Buffalo Creek. And especially this time of year when they start drawing that water down and them points get better and better. Don't know why. They just do. So we go to put it in Buffalo Creek. We get to the parking ramp. Sunset parking ramp. You know, there's a little bit of weight to put your boat in. We wasn't thinking, you know. Right then and there is where we messed up, honestly. We get out there. We go to our first point back in Buffalo Creek. We're going to start at this point. We're going to work down another grassy bank. That's our pattern. 
we were just hoping they would be bigger in Buffalo Creek because, I mean, I can't tell you the amount of three to five pound fish I've caught out of Buffalo Creek. So we're sitting there. Another boat goes into Buffalo Creek. Another boat goes into Buffalo Creek. Another boat goes into Buffalo Creek. So the the we're at this point. So this is the point. We're here. You got three boats that went into the actual creek. All right, now we wanted to go down this bank into this little nook that's got some grass on another point and throw a buzz bait. That was the, the whole plan. But when we get there, there's already a guy sitting and he made sure to put his boat in front of ours. So we ended up having to go this way. <laughs> so that didn't work out. So I'm like, all right, well, we'll back out and fish the secondary points all the way out. So we get out, we're, you know, hauling ass in the ranger. All right, we, I'm like, all right, we go to that point right there. We go around, there's a boat sitting on every point but one. <laughs> so we started the one they're not sitting on. All right, didn't get any bites on the point. I ended up going back in a little nook beside the point. I caught three that were probably 13 to 14 inches. That was done over with. All right. Let's go to the islands. Maybe they're schooling. So we head out to the island. We're sitting at the islands. Here they come up. Boom, 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 boom. Ben catches one about two and a half pounds. Never came back up. <laughs> so after that, I mean, we're just lost. We go and fish everything else that we think could produce a three pound class fish. And it just, I mean, we caught probably 10 fish that day so i don't know guys like we, we i mean both both days we ran the trolling motor dead but we did cash a check which a lot of people can't say they did so thankful for that and thankful for all you guys without you guys watching these videos i wouldn't be able to do what i'm doing and yes a, a brand new bass boat would have been amazing to win like it would have been life-changing honestly to have those electronics to be able to finally learn how to fish deep because i mean this john boat can't handle deep water especially on lake mary when the wind's five mile an hour towards the dam uh you're just gonna push this john boat everywhere so i mean i'm i'm gonna figure out a way to upgrade figure out a way to get out there because i, I believe the more consistent bite is going to be deep now, this, these two days, we stuck to our guns. We're good at shallow water fishing. We're good at throwing a frog, a buzz bait, a Texas rig. It just didn't pay off in the long run. We Well, okay, it did pay off, but it was honestly a lucky fish. We were throwing a buzz bait, a fluke, all kinds of stuff, and we were catching fish all day uh, Friday, all day Friday. And I happened, I had a gut feeling, throw the popper, Steven. Throw the popper, man. And I picked up the popper, and I ended up catching that 3.75. And I was in third place for, like, the whole hour. In the last five minutes, I dropped down to sixth place. <laughs> but that was day one and day two. I didn't fish day three. Didn't really have a financial standpoint after the end of day two to opt to fish another day because I honestly couldn't tell you where to go right now to catch a five pounder. And that's something. I knew going to the river would be a mistake. Now the biggest fish may have been caught in the river and I messed up. Don't know. But you win some, you lose some. And I, I mean, we did technically win some. So you can't really complain. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button for me and comment down below if you're going to be able to come to that tournament first week or second week in november whichever i get the most comments about is what we're going to do and it's going to be 50 dollars uh 90 payback 40 dollars for the tournament five dollars big fish and five dollars for the ramp fee if you don't use the ramp you ain't got to pay the fee simple as that guys so this steven turner will turn a fishing <laughs>